guys, it's Adria. So, do you ever just wake up and you're just like, hey, guess what? I'm sick today. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's kind of what happened to me. And I'm kind of upset because it's the weekend and, like, I don't know. It's just upsetting. And so, despite my sickness and my freezing coldness, as you can see, I'm bundled up and I'm indoors. It's just, I'm always cold. Um, so despite all that, I thought I would still give you guys a December favorites video because I'm pretty sure I've done one every single month since like July, I think, so I didn't want to miss this month. So excuse my minimal makeup face today. Um, so I only have four favorites this month due to the fact that my December was really chaotic. <laughs> um many many things uh break up with my boyfriend ex-boyfriend uh my brother was in town and all this stuff and i don't know things were just everything was chaotic all at once so i do apologize but i don't have that many favorites <laughs> nor have i been making that many videos so i think those are my two big excuses though i don't like to make excuses because i'm a very motivated person so Let's get on to the favorites. So, um, this is Palmer's Cocoa Butter um, Skin Therapy Oil, which I got to remove uh, scars, but it can take off scars, stretch marks, dry, damaged skin, uneven skin tone, and aging skin. But my one thing with this, I mean, I have like a love-hate relationship with this because it's so oily. Because I have scars on my thighs, so I was like putting it on my thighs and then I got like pimples on my thighs. I'm like, what the heck is this? So, I would not recommend this for your face unless you want to get like severe breakout on your face. Yeah, it's very oily, but on the plus side, it does take scars away, so... I can deal with a little um, thigh acne to get rid of scars. <laughs> Next is my Glade Shimmering Spruce Candle. Let me just say, I like I haven't even taken the packaging off, nor lit this candle. As you can tell, it's like brand new. Because I keep it next to my bed and I literally just pick it up and sniff it. Because I don't want to use it because it just smells so good. And I know that's like kind of weird, but it's from the winter collection so now that like Christmas is over and stuff you know you probably won't be seeing these so I don't want to use this candle it just smells like evergreen and like Christmas trees and oh, nature it's amazing I can't even describe it I had the spray stuff but I left it at my mom's house and now that's like the designated bathroom spray so I'm just like okay <laughs> Um, next, Viva La Juicy Perfume. I got this for Christmas from my stepdad, and this is my favorite perfume ever made. At least for right now. I mean, that changes. I say that, like, all the time. I don't know if I say it on YouTube, but, like, I'll be like, this is my favorite perfume ever. I'm never wearing anything else. And then, like, months later, I'm like, oh, I don't like that anymore. But for right now, Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture is insane and it's really expensive like this tiny bottle if you look at it next to my hand this was probably like $30 at the least it may be more I don't know um, but yeah this smells really nice and I love it oh. and my last favorite of the month is my gingerbread hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works oh I just I love it I um and my mom had the hand soap the gingerbread hand soap, I love it. I think it's more of a acquired taste, if you will, because my brother sniffed it and he hated it. He was like, ew, that's disgusting, but it smells like cookies. Why? Like, I love things that smell like food. Like, why would you not want that? Why? So, <laughs> that's it for my favorites. Um, next month I'll probably have more because of my stuff I got for Christmas, so... Yeah, oh, I will be doing a video of what I got for Christmas because somebody asked me to. I just need to go around my room and collect all my Christmas gifts into a pile or something. So, I hope you guys had a great Christmas and a great December because my December was, uh, it could have been better. <laughs> but, yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be up sometime this week. So, thanks for watching. Bye.